something huge that has occurred that I don't see brought up anywhere. And that's that the CTV and CBC have disabled their comments on their Facebook, perhaps other places. And this is, you know, I, I, was, I was reading the comments. I don't know about you, but I read the comments quite a bit everywhere. I like to see what people think. I like to see where conversations go. It's a fascinating process. And all of a sudden, CBC and CTV, you couldn't go on their comments. And I was noticing before, in, there was a lot of support for the stuff. And then it switched. And there, there'd be a few people who were sort of dissenting. And then it switched. And then it was like all dissenters. No matter what they posted, people were hammering them saying that they're propaganda, that they're full of shit, that they're lying, that uh, bringing up all the other, other uh, data that they never bring up. And so this is massive. Like this is, this is, this is so massive. And, and there's nothing saying, you know, questioning them, holding them to account. Like they're not even in the debate. They just put forth their propaganda and cut off all feedback. And the reason is, is that there's way more people who are against this than we know. Way more. Because the other side has these bots. They, they sort of program these bots to go around and do all their bullshit. It's not even real. I'm talking about real Canadians, real people. Do you support vaccine passports? Like, to me, it's just freaking insane. I've never seen anything like it in my life. And I don't want to see anything like it for the future generations. I mean, this is the worst case scenario. This is the absolute worst case scenario. What the frick does a government have <clears throat> thinking it has the right to tell me or you or anyone what to put in their bodies? Like the purpose of the government, we have to examine that. And from my own research, it just seems that the most of the Western governments, if not all governments are just a, a pack of puppets that are playing out stories and, and mechanisms and, and agreements, whatever there's for these insane families or bloodlines or groups or whoever they are that are behind the curtains, uh, playing their little stories out. And uh, they've been doing it for generations and they, they distort history and they're always trying to hide. Their biggest thing is don't get identified because if they ever get identified, the whole world will get rid of them in seconds. They're, they are, if they're evil, these guys are evil. I mean, they are not looking out for the good for the species. They're not looking good for anyone. All they're doing is just controlling power. And they must be freaking aliens because they have absolutely no understanding of the base human sort of way of being. And right now, you know, if you really saw what they did, because it's coming out about the, 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 the children abductions and the adrenochrome and sick porn and all this, this insane stuff to do with children and sex and whatever their freaking deviant ways are and this is all hidden right it was coming out with jeffrey epstein it was coming out it was just about to burst about what you know what was going on with all these politicians and hollywood people and whatever the frick they're doing but i tell you if you don't pay attention to the stuff that really deserves significance, then you miss the whole story. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm pointing to the pieces of the whole story that needs way more attention, because without that, we're going to get bamboozled badly.